Range Rover Evoque. Da -da, 2011 this one, the first year they released. Right, we are gonna do a guide. We are trying to count 50 upgrades and accessories you can fit to your Range Rover Evoque. I'm gonna do this video in one take. I'm gonna rattle through it. I might miss a few if you can think of any more. Put them in the comments below. Right, let's get on with it. Let's start, right, headlight trim. So if you notice here, we've got a headlight trim that goes round. Lettering. Lettering, we've got various colours of lettering. You can go for black, red. We've gone for red because we've got a red interior. We've got a dynamic front grille. So this grille is the same style as the Evoque 2, the 2020. We've got about five different grilles, autobiography, facelift, 2017 look, original look, colour coded. Take your pick off the grilles. The grill badge, the standard grill badge was green and a sort of gold. We use, we sell these supercharged badges, the genuine ones, which were black and silver. All right, let's move down. Number plate, we haven't fitted one here, but you can get a number plate surround that goes around your front number plate. Quite a popular accessory. All right, let's dive down. Mesh grill. So in here, this is normally open. Um, there's a stainless steel mesh grill you can get to fit here. An accessory that we are currently developing is a cover to cover this silver bit to make it black. That will be available soon. Right, let's move on round. Sorry. Right, here we go. Ah, fog lights. If you haven't got fog lights, you can fit dummy fog lights. These are actually a DRL light. So if you don't have fog lights, um, they're quite difficult to retrofit. But these DRL lights are wired up to the ignition. So these light up when the ignition comes on. Right, let's move down to the wheels. Best accessory ever. So the wheels we fitted there are the Velar wheels. So do you want to just pan out and look how they sit on the car? So the Velar wheels fit the Freelander 2 and the Evoque. And they're not expensive. They seem to, because a lot of the Velars go up to 22. So the smaller Velar wheels look great on the Evoque. Have a look on eBay. Right, as well as wheels, you've got locking wheel nuts and center wheel caps. There's various designs of wheel cap centers you can get. Right, let's move up, side vents. So I think the Pure and the Prestige models had silver side vents. You can fit black side vents. Also, we're doing a, an insert that's gonna go in here that's gonna have a color accent strip and look like the later ones. That's coming. While, while I'm leaning on the mirror, you can change your mirror caps. So you can get carbon fiber, chrome, silver, black, mirror caps. We do two types. One is you can actually pop the cap off and put ones on. And there are the others that you can just stick on. Quite popular because often if you live in the countryside, your mirrors get scratched and damaged. So you can put a cover on, add some style and cover some damage. One accessory we've got coming soon is this, is your indicator. We've got one of those swoopy indicators coming in stock soon. Keep an eye on the website for that, that will be coming soon. Right, wind deflectors, you'll notice here we fitted the wind deflectors. Quite a popular upgrade. Zoom back, George, just look at those. They soften the edges, allow you to get some fresh air in the car without buffeting. Boom, door handle covers. So these are actually covers that stick on and they look like the autobiography two-part covers. And you, these are actually two-part covers, so you can get them in black and silver, silver and black, silver and chrome, black and chrome, whatever you like. Right, let's go down. You can get a trim, a chrome trim that goes along here. We haven't fitted it, but there is a chrome trim available. And also a popular accessory is um, rubber strips that go across the doors that protect your doors from damage. Boom, straight down here. These are some side tubes we've designed for the Range Rover. Obviously this is the four door. Um, you can also get side steps, side steps and side tubes, very popular. Right, let's keep going. Right, where are we now? Roof rails. So these are roof rails. These are factory OE style roof rails that allow you to fit crossbars. So we've got two types of crossbars here. You might have to go up a little bit there, George. So we've got the black ones and the silver ones, lockable roof rails, so that you can fit your surfboard or whatever else you want to do. Right, where should we go? Let's keep going around the inside and we'll pop on the... So, right, let's get to the back. So this, um, only the dynamics were fitted with this extra little mini baby spoiler that sits on the back of the big spoiler. That's a good retrofit if you don't have that. Twin roof aerial. So this is a stick-on 
twin roof aerial to make your early model look like the later model. We've produced that. Obviously, it's a little bit, you've got your original aerial there, but this really adds some style, we think. Right, now we're around the back. Rear lettering, obviously, same as the front. You could have different. You can't see the same, the both letters at the same time. This strip here, you've got a couple of options here. You can get a, um, the Pure and the Prestige had silver. If you had a black car, it had a silver strip. So you might want to go black like we have. Now you can either change this whole panel, it pops out. We've done the video for that. It's quite an easy upgrade. Or you can just get a stick on cover and stick it on. Rear number plates around, another option. Your badging, you could change your badging. I believe the Dynamics had the red badge. So you could swap your badges over to make it look slightly different. Also, you'll notice we've changed the rear badge here from the green type to the black type. And we've added a little chrome surround uh, my favorite accessory at the moment these are the rear lights so these are the latest style rear lights in black let me just see if i can put the lights on there we go and you'll see they've got this softer glow look this, this is a very popular upgrade right oh let's it's moaning let's shut that up right Fog lights, so normally the fog lights are red, you can fit tinted fog lights. There's also a chrome trim you can buy that goes around the fog light. Right, let's get down a bit here. Exhausts, so your exhaust finish is on the dynamic. Now, if you've got a pure prestige, you will have the round tips and you can get um, a cover to go over that, a stainless steel cover. And we do those in black and polished stainless because although they've got them there, they do discolor and it allows you to go black. Right, one thing you'll notice here is this panel here is removable, this panel, um, and we do this, we've wrapped ours in carbon fiber, but we do these in black and silver, so if you've got silver, you can go to black. And shortly on the website, we will have a panel to stick over here, so that if you've got silver, silver, silver here, you'll be able to go to black, black, and black. This section here, there's a chrome trim on our website. You can cover this unpainted section with a chrome trim, if you like. Skid plate, stainless steel rear skid plate. This goes on to the removable tow eye cover and gives you a more aggressive looking stainless steel skid plate. That's quite a popular. Right, while we're around the back, let's dive in the boot. What have we got? On your rear bumper, this ledge of your plastic bumper can get scratched. So there's a stainless steel plate here that you can put on that stops that panel getting scratched or covers it if it is scratched. Normally this is just plastic here. You can buy these as inserts and just fit these in. Or if you buy the genuine Land Rover one, you change this whole panel. Right, um, luggage rails. So these are luggage rails in the back here. And what these do is these allow you to have a adjustable tie downs. You can oh, press this and move it to different positions. And there's also a series of accessories. You can get like a cross bar that goes across. So that's, oh, notice the LED upgrades. So we do LED light upgrades. So we've changed the interior lights to blue LED. You can get white LED upgrades, more powerful on a, a sort of blue or whiter light. Right, what's in this bag? This is a random accessory I thought I'd throw into this video. This is a boot seat. And you'll notice it's got a little notch here. And what this does is this is a genuine accessory that fits over. And why isn't that fitting in right there? Fits over and allows you when you're at your car boot sale or out at the beach to have a little seat to sit on. Random accessory. Threw that one in. Right, let's go down. Let's dive inside the front. Shall we? Right, oh, let me just turn the lights off. Right, what have we got here? We, oh. Right, okay. Right, where shall we start? Where shall we start? Steering wheel. You will notice we have an upgraded steering wheel here. I'll put it round straight. So we have got a wood inlaid steering wheel here with a sort of sporty grip or a different profile here you can upgrade. We've also upgraded this steering wheel to heated steering wheel, and that is possible to do. It's not that complicated. We've done the video on that. Okay, you'll notice we have paddle shifts extension. These red paddle shifts are fitted onto your normal paddle shifts. Also, you can change your paddle shifts if you don't want the extensions. You can change from black 
to silver. They also do uh, aluminium ones that are silver or red anodized. And actually, the the Jaguar do some sort of copper color ones. You can fit those as well. Right. You'll notice around the starter ring, we've added this SVO style chrome ring. Those are available as a little accessory. Also, you'll notice here where the gear change is, the pop-up gear change. We've gone for... This one here is an SVO style one off the SVO Range Rover with a nail top. Ooh, there it goes. Right, another random accessory I've thrown in is our IID tool. So this is a Bluetooth tool that allows you to change some vehicle setting and do some diagnostics on your car. Um, invaluable accessory. Right, okay, infotainment system. We will be doing a video shortly on an Android unit. So you can update your your whole screen to an Android screen, which gives you Google Maps and Apple CarPlay and other accessories. Right, foot pedals. You'll notice here we've got a couple of things. This is a foot rest. So normally you just have your carpet to prevent your carpet from wearing. We have got an alloy foot rest. And also there's various options for upgrading your pedal covers on your pedals from the rubber type to the aluminium type or the stainless steel type on the seat you've got these switches here you can get covers that go over these which add silver or chrome rims to them car mats most popular accessory in the world car mats great accessory um, make your car look great and protect the carpets in the side here you'll notice we've got tread plates so these are illuminated tread plates here, and they're quite easy to change if you haven't got them. Um, these just pop out. We can also get tread plates that go along here and fit along here. Right, here we go. Let's have a look in the back. We've got the click and go accessories. Okay, so in the back, so there is a system from Land Rover that gives you the ability to add various accessories to the headrest. So it's got a little docking system that goes here and you can get a table. We've got an iPad screen here. They're quite a click and go. We've put those on the website. They're quite a proper accessory. Again, you can notice we've got the LED interior lights. You'll also notice in the back here, we've got the SVO style coat hooks. So these are actually from the Range Rover SVO and we've done a little video of how to fit those in your Range Rover. Right, I think I'm nearly running out. Have we got any more, George? I think that's hopefully, George will do a little count and then upload the video and hopefully that's got the 50 accessories.